I'm Daisy of Dumaguete InfoNet Service. In this video, you will learn how to make a DFA passport online appointment. This tutorial will be demonstrated through a mobile phone. However, the same steps can be done through your computer, laptop, or even tablet. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Take note that we are not the DFA office. For more information, kindly contact or visit your nearest DFA branch. Why do you need an online appointment? An online appointment is one of the necessary requirements for getting a Philippine passport. Since there are a lot of applicants, the DFA or Department of Foreign Affairs designed a system where people can schedule their appointment to avoid crowding in the office. This way, people can also prepare their documents on time. Why is there no refund in the online appointment? For many years, the DFA online appointment website was taken for granted. People would book slots and wouldn't show up during their date and or time of their scheduled appointment. Hence, wasting precious time and appointment slots which other people could have used. To avoid this and in order to guarantee the applicant's presence, DFA decided to add in a non-refundable payment method during the online appointment. That way, they have assurance that the applicants show up. So, how do you make a passport appointment? Step 1. Go to the official DFA Passport Online application website. You may check our video description for link. Step 2. Carefully read the terms and conditions. Then, choose your desired mode of application, individual or group appointment. Step 3. Choose your closest or desired DFA office branch in which you want to make an appointment. Read the notice and check the box before clicking the next button. Step 4. Choose your desired date and time. Then, click the necessary buttons and clicking the next button. Step 5. Carefully read and fill up the form. Make sure you have the correct spelling and information. Then, click the next button. Step 6. Fill in the information asked. such as your father's name, mother's name, and etc. Click the next button. Step 7. Choose your type of application, new, renewal, or lost. Select your basis of Philippine citizenship, if you are a Filipino by birth, by marriage, or etc. Type in your emergency contact as well. Then, click the next button. Step 8. Type in your current address and occupation. If you do not have any work, simply type none. Step 9. Carefully review your form from top to bottom. Make sure you have the correct spelling and information.
After that, simply read and check the red notice before clicking the Confirm button. Step 10. Choose your processing type and payment method. The processing type will determine how long to process your passport. Regular will take 12 working days and will cost 950 pesos, while special processing will cost 120 pesos. You can pay either over the counter or credit or debit card. Once you choose your processing type and payment method, click the Pay Now button. Read the pop-up carefully before agreeing. Another payment confirmation pop-up will appear stating that the processing fee is non-refundable and not transferable. Once you agree, click the Proceed to Payment button. And finally, Step 11. Read the general guidelines for your payment method. If you choose over-the-counter, you will be given a list of payment locations and methods like LBC, Robinson Small, 7-Eleven, and etc. Your total will also be seen on the bottom. Pay the amount before the expiration date stated on the tab. Once you pay the processing fee, you should receive a confirmation slip through your email address and or a confirmation text through your cell phone number. That's it! You have successfully made a Philippine passport appointment. All you need to do now is prepare all your requirements and go on the date and time of your scheduled appointment. To learn more about the requirements for Philippine Passport, check out our video description. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Again, we are not the DFA office. For more information, kindly contact or visit your nearest DFA branch. I'm Daisy of Dumaguete Info Net Service. See you in the next videos.